Greetings. It's time for another vape teardown. And this one is different because it is rechargeable. It does, does still have power in it. And I think it's some sort of lemon scent, I think. And I don't know if it's refillable. It's definitely rechargeable. But it's got, obviously you've got the, the vape draw point there. I don't know if it can also be used, you know, if this can be um, refilled from the, from the side. I don't know. By the time I finish with it, it won't be anyway. Let's crack it open. Oh, there we go. It looks almost like a replaceable cartridge there. If it wasn't for the fact you'd have to straighten those wires out to get them in the holes. But that's a start. Can I get that out in one piece? Yes. It's just a couple of turns of wire. That's all that was. wants to work. What a wonderful easily recyclable design, eh? That is what's inside. It's another little pouch cell. USB port on the back this time. Let's get the tape off. Pop the cell out. This board is actually snapped in place. And this board is probably also snapped in place. There we go. So this is the whole the whole circuit. Let's trace it. Here's a close-up of the boards. Here's the schematic. I couldn't find a data sheet for the chip, but it appears to be a six-pin variant of the chips found inside the little microphone-style capsule on the non-rechargeable disposable vapes. Five of the pins have the same function and physical layout as found in those. I say physical layout as pin 5 is now pin 6, but it's not physically moved on the chip. This one, however, has a sixth pin where the non-rechargeables have a gap, and that one connects to the USB charging port. You can see I've labelled the switch with an electric microphone symbol as it seems to have more in common with one than it does an actual switch. I put a meter across it and there's no apparent change in resistance when it gets blown through. Opening it up reveals it's more like an electric microphone without the internal FET amplifier, like the one I've ripped open here. And that's pretty much it. I've covered vapes in a previous video. I found this discarded rechargeable one more recently, so I thought I'd do a follow-up. But I'm sure you'd be pleased to know that that'll be about it for me as far as vapes go, as I expect other disposables to be much the same electronically. They're a good source of small lithium batteries if you need them, especially the non-rechargeable disposables, as they'll need a bigger cell to be able to hold enough charge to run the vape until empty. So this video will show you how you can butcher them to get the cell out in relative safety, if nothing else. I suppose you could even use the circuit as a USB-powered lithium-ion charger as well. And just remove the pressure sensor and output pins as they'll no longer be required and just present a short circuit risk. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.